So if you have a Chevy or GM vehicle and you get the service stability track light come on, I thought I'd go over the causes of this and how you go about fixing it. And so what is stability track? Well, it's basically a system to help a vehicle keep going in a straight line when it's already moving. And to do this, it uses different sensors located in the steering wheel and on each wheel. And it's basically there to help the driver when there's less than ideal weather conditions. And so for like example, if you're driving a vehicle down the road and a fish tails to the right, but the wheels are pointed to the left, well, the stability track system can apply pressure to the brakes on specific times tires until the vehicle straightens out. And so that's a basic overview of what the stability track system is. But what causes the stability track light to come on? Well, there can be many things that can cause the light to come on. And it's basically going to be broken down into two separate categories. It's either going to be engine related issue, or it's going to be inside the stability track system itself. And components inside the stability track system is going to be like the wheel speed sensors, the steering wheel sensor, the electronic brake control module, and things like this. But engine related issues can also cause this problem and are the most common. So if you're having a problem with the engine and the RPMs aren't consistent, then the whole stability track system is going to shut down until it's fixed because it needs a consistent engine performance in order to work properly. And so how can you find out what the problem is? Well, basically you need to scan the onboard computer for any possible error codes. And this is really easy to do. Underneath the driver's side dashboard on every vehicle since 1996, there's an OBD2 port that you can plug in an OBD2 scan tool and you can read whatever codes is on the onboard computer. There's some really low cost OBD2 scan tools for like $20, $30 on Amazon. I'll put a link down below if you need one. Or you can even go to like an automotive store. They'll usually do a scan for free and tell you what the codes are. Be sure to call around first to make sure which stores are doing it. But most automotive stores will come out, scan your vehicle for free and tell you what the codes are. But basically once you read the codes it'll tell you what the problem is so for example right here you have a p0300 code which is a random multiple cylinder misfire that means something's going on with the engine could be a spark plug a bad spark plug wire but you'll know where to go look and where the problem is another example would be a c0037 code which is a left rear wheel speed sensor and if you read this code then you know that it's that wheel speed sensor very likely needs to be replaced and that would solve the issue and so the first thing to go about troubleshooting this problem is to go read the codes on the computer and so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a quick overview of what the service stability track light is and how you can go about finding what the problem is. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.